I'm back with my sewing plans and sewing makes. So I'm doing November makes and December plans in the same video. So hang on, it's going to be longer than usual. Okay, so November was very productive. I sewed one, two, three, four garments. I had five on the plan. The fifth one quite didn't didn't quite get there so it's going to roll over into December and I'm just going to start with it. It is McCall's 6963. This one right here with the three quarter sleeve and I had trouble with my sewing machine. I had to take it in for repairs and I, it was tunneling really bad. I think I've fixed that. I'm using a different uh, presser foot on my sewing machine. I'm using on my Bernina 1008 foot number two and as you can tell here's the garment. They need sleeves and hemming, uh, but I did top stitch here and the tunneling, I don't know if you can see that, it seems to be much, much better. I am pleased with this, so I need to finish that and that'll be something that I get going on very quickly to finish. I'm liking the way that's turning out so far. So that's going well. The other patterns I used were the McCall's M7249 out of this pink sparkle for my daughter. The only things I, it doesn't look good on the hanger. I'm sorry, it's cute on. Um, I had trouble because of these glitters. It, it was tough for my machine. Then it has a pretty deep v-neck and so I added this little piece here. It's just a square folded in half into a triangle and then I tack it in just to raise that up. I didn't want to get rid of the v-neck detail. I just wanted to add something in the back. So that's what we did. She loves it. I made it and she, I finished it on a Saturday. She wore it to church Sunday. She wore it to school Monday and then she wore it to school again on Wednesday She so she could show her violin teacher. She really loves it and it is a really fun make um, because it's, especially out of this fabric, it's really kind of glitzy. So I made that one and then the main thing that I made, which was kind of an outfit, let me get it out of this bag, is the Quick Sew 2756 and we made the high-low skirt and we made the three-quarter uh, sleeve top. So that went well. She loves the skirt. This is what the skirt looks like. It is just an elastic waistband. Uh, skirt with this ruffle on the bottom. I'm having some trouble with the fabric. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But here's the ruffle on the bottom and the high-low. It looks really cute and she has a lot of fun wearing it. Uh, this is the problem I'm having is that this fabric is fraying as you can see. But it's not fraying in the place you would think. <coughs> so I finished the seams. I do not have an overlocker or a serger, but where it's fraying is right where I'm sewing. Can you see that? So there's the stitch where I sew the seam in and it's just fraying from there. It's really sad. I would cry, but I'm trying to be adult about it. I've done something wrong with this fabric and I, I'm really upset because the fabric, it's gorgeous. It is just gorgeous but yeah really upset about that happening and I'm not sure what to do uh, when I talked to the lady at the sewing store she said at my sewing machine store she said to use these um, try these other needles they're a microtex needle and they actually will cut the thread as it goes in but I don't think that will help I I don't know but the outfits coming apart she's worn it twice this is my angry face. Mm. Here's the top. Moving on. So the three-quarter sleeve I think is so nice. I like it. The problem we had is she is so used to wearing just comfy knit sorts of things and this is not a fabric with a lot of give. Um, so she felt like for her violin she wanted some more um, width I guess through the shoulders. And then this drape neck does not work for this fabric. I, again, is it just fabric choice or is it fit? I don't, not excited about that, but I learned and I used a different kind of fabric than I've used before. So, oh well. 
So the first thing I made in November, <laughs> we're going backwards, is this top. And it is uh, Simplicity It's So Easy. It's Simplicity. Um, E1861, like I said in November, it is a very old pattern, but I made it and uh, it is not this long in real life. That's what I was expecting. It just hits me at my waist, just barely. So here's the shirt and I told you this is a wearable muslin. I don't love this fabric. I love the fit on this. This is so comfortable. And this little detail is fun. I had problems with the neck. It stands out because it's a wide, a wide band. It stands out and I couldn't get it to lay flat. And so I just rolled it over and bound the seam. I'm pretty impatient. I don't know what to do. If you guys know, how do you do that? How do you get the neck band from gaping like this to laying flat against you? I don't know. So that, and then I need to lengthen it when I make it again. It needs to be lengthened by quite a bit. This just hits me at my waist and I need it longer so that it covers me up when I like reach up to get something from the kitchen cupboard. Anyway, that is my November makes successful. December, oh my goodness, it's December. <laughs> Christmas pajamas. So this is what I am doing. This is for my boys. I use this pattern almost every year. It is a McCall's 9638. It comes in men's sizes and children's sizes. It goes up to a size um, 8 in children's and a men's size small to extra large. My husband usually wears a, a medium uh, for like clothes off the rack. In this pattern I have to make a small and I have to make an adjustment on the rise. So that's the measurement from the crotch to the waistband. I need to shorten that distance. Otherwise it's just weird. Like they're just, I don't even know how to describe it. It just doesn't fit right. So I have to take, make some adjustments with that. So this is what I'm making is just the bottoms. And if I have time, I'll make the short sleeve top. I'm debating whether to make the short sleeve top or not because last year I made the short sleeve top and only my seven year old wears the short sleeve top. No one else does. So I may just, let them wear whatever, an undershirt or go get a t-shirt for them to wear with it. This is the fabric. It is from Joann's and it's upside down. <laughs> it's from Joann's and it's perfect. It's perfect. If you see my other videos, this is just perfect for my family and for my boys. So this is what I got. I got 19 yards. I got it on sale for the two and a half dollars a yard Black Friday sale. It did not go to the store. I did that one year. In Insane. I do not shop on Black Friday anymore unless it's sitting at my computer, sipping my hot chocolate, watching the kids play the, with their games and their toys. Online, $2.50 a yard. This is what the boys are getting. Okay? Then, for the girls, this is so fun. This is what we have as little baby sheep. I'm excited about this. This is also Joanne's $2.50 a yard on Black Friday. And with the little sheep on it, with the kind of mint green background, we are making this for my nine-year-old daughter right here that this model is wearing. Unless she really, really, really talks me into a nightgown. I've made, I've made these, like I said, I use these year after year. This is the Stitch and Save by McCall's M5355. So I'll be making this in a size eight for my nine-year-old. And it's, it's wonderful. She loves this one. So it's so cute with the little gathers along the yoke and little puffy sleeves and the ruffle. It's a, it's a winner. So we're doing that. And for my 13 year old, I am making this. She has requested pajama pants and a top. So we're going to make this what the little boy is wearing. Um, but probably in a short sleeve. So C and F in a size 16 for my 13 year old daughter. And yeah, I've had this pattern for a long time, never used it. We're going to try it out. For me, I have not found my pattern yet. I know it's at my mom's. I just haven't gotten up there and searched through her patterns to find it. But it is very similar to this pattern, only it's adult size. Okay? And, and then it, you insert a little um, like eyelet lace right here. It's very old fashioned, very what I want to do. Cause I really don't need new pajamas, but it's Christmas. Anyway, so then 
The other sewing we're going to do is just, um, my kids have a couple projects. This is for my nine-year-old daughter. Her classroom this year is all about superheroes, and so she's going to make a little zipper pouch for her teacher to keep some things in on her whiteboard. So that's what this fabric is for. And then I have a gift that I'm sewing for my mom that I'm going to share when I show you my makes. But it's really fun. It's all over Pinterest and I'm going to make it for my mom who is a quilter and it has to do with ironing and that's all the, I, uh, the hints I'm giving you. But that is my November makes and my December plans and I hope you all enjoy and that you're having a great time sewing through the holidays as well. And we'll catch you next time.